Hi, I'm Dan Cordopassi. Today I'm reviewing an HS scale 4600 cubic foot covered hopper from Athern Genesis. My example is decorated for Western Pacific. The MSRP for this car is $49.98. I got mine for $42.48 from modeltrainstuff.com. We'll start the model at 100 possible points. The car comes in a cardboard box with a clear plastic window on top. Inside a two-piece plastic cradle protects the model. The car is wrapped in some thin flexible plastic to guard against scratches. Exploded view drawings are included. Atherin also supplies a pair of extra rotating end caps for the wheels in case any get lost. This is a good box that should protect the model for storage and transport. I found a photo online of the real WP11973 from 2003 and the model looks to be a very close match. WP was merged into the Union Pacific in the early 80s, but even if you model a more modern era, having a weathered fallen flag car or two in your layout can really add a sense of history. The paint on the car is opaque and thin enough not to obscure detail. The lettering is very crisp and all of the small writing is legible with magnification. The end ladders and stirrups are delicate looking, and they appear to be made of styrene plastic, so they should be handled carefully. The car has freestanding grab irons above the stirrups. Below the sill, the trucks have rotating end caps on the axles. On the ends, the car has uncoupling levers, air hoses, and photo etched crossover platforms. The end grab irons are very fine and appear to be made of wire. The B end has a delicate brake wheel and brake system components with wire plumbing. Up top, the car has a photo etched roof walk with freestanding end grab irons. The round hatches seem a little flat to my eye and don't have a lot of depth, though it could be that the real ones just look like that. Underneath the discharge gate detail is good. There's plumbing running down both sides of the car. The car is equipped with McHenry plastic knuckle couplers. The coupler on the A end is low, so I'm taking five points. The coupler on the B end is slightly high. All of the wheels are in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. The model wobbles, meaning that the body continues to vibrate after the wheels stop moving. This can usually be fixed by tightening one of the bolster screws. The car weighs 4.8 ounces, very close to the 4.75 ounce NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length. The car is very free rolling. Let's see what we've got. The car had one low coupler, one high coupler, and it wobbled, so I took a total of 15 points in the standards and operation category. That leaves us with a total of 85 out of 100 possible points, which would be a B on a report card. This is a nice model and it deserves a green signal. This is a really nice model from Athern. If you're looking for some modern covered hoppers for your layout, I think you'll like it.